Maysai, Thailand, efforts to rescue 12 boys and their soccer coach who have been missing inside a flooded cave in northern Thailand for three days hinge on pumping out water so that Navy divers have headroom to operate, the first high-level Thai official to visit the site said Tuesday. Interior Minister Anupong Paujin Dead told reporters that Navy SEAL divers leading the search are seriously handicapped by muddy water that fills some chambers of the cave to the ceiling. He said the divers could proceed only when enough water has been pumped out so there is breathing space between the water and the ceiling. The divers will also soon start using special oxygen tanks that provide longer diving times, he said. Members of the emergency rescue team talk in the staging area as they continue the search for a young soccer team and their coach believed to be missing in a large cave. The boys and their soccer coach have been trapped for three days, Tasan Yvapongsa, the Associated Press, a seal diver said the water is so murky that even with lights they cannot see where they are going underwater, so they need to be able to lift their heads above the water. Anupong said rescuers would be working night and day in the dark cave, the SEAL team will be working non-stop because it's already dark here too, he said. So night and day doesn't make a big difference. They'll just need to rotate, article continued fell out about a dozen Navy divers and other rescuers re-entered the partly flooded cave on Tuesday morning to search for the boys, aged 11 to 16, who have been missing since their coach took them to the Tham Luang Nong Non Cave Complex on Saturday after a practice match. Divers have been seeking a way forward through the chambers of the cave complex, but have been forced to suspend their search several times. The authorities have also been seeking alternative ways in using helicopters and search parties on foot to find holes that might exist in the ceilings of other parts of the cave. Read more, 12 young soccer players and their coach feared trapped in Thai caver relatives hold fishing nets, as a symbol to fish out lost spirits inside cave, Tasani Vepongsa, the Associated Press, a small glimmer of hope was raised Tuesday afternoon when explorers found fishers in two locations in the rock on the mountain under which the cave is located. Experts immediately ruled out one as being too small to be used as a chimney to gain access into the cave and were still evaluating the other. Rain that fell overnight increased the difficulty of exploring inside the cave. However, the initial chambers near the cave's entrance are dry, and a power line was extended inside to provide light and ventilation and help the divers communicate with those outside. The boys and their 25-year-old coach entered the cave in Chiang Rai province late Saturday afternoon. A mother reported that her son did not return from soccer practice that day, setting off the search. Article continued below relatives of the missing boys and others performed a ritual Tuesday morning calling for those who are missing. They played drums and gongs and two relatives held fishing nets as symbols to fish out lost spirits from the cave. Organizer Joratat Cody said the ritual was a traditional way of showing support for the boys' families. The cave complex extends several kilometers and has wide chambers and narrow passageways with rocky outcrops and changes in elevation. Still, officials have said they are hopeful the boys found a safe space away from the floods. Rising waters Monday evening first frustrated efforts to search farther in the cave, and the efforts were halted temporarily. During the night, rescue teams and electricians extended a power line one kilometer and communication lines into the cave. Efforts to rescue the boys and coach hinge on pumping out water so that Navy divers have headroom to operate, Tasani Vapongsa, the Associated Press, we hope this would provide lights for work and fans for ventilation for the SEAL team. Chang Rai Gov. Narang Sikasatanakorn said. Also, it means we can use electric engines to pump water out from the cave as well, parents waited overnight in tents outside the cave entrance as rain poured. 
FedEx sat in a tent nearby, and bicycles, backpacks and soccer cleats the boys left behind remained at the entrance. At a prayer session Monday evening, some of the boys' relatives walked inside the cave entrance, where their cries echoed off the walls. My son, come on out. I am waiting for you here, one woman cried. Another kneeled down near the bicycles and prayed, asking, Where is my child, Nam Hongboon Payam, whose 13-year-old son Mongkol is among the missing, said she had been waiting at the entrance since Saturday night, I haven't slept and I hope that all of them can come out, all safe and sound, she said. My son is a strong boy. I still have hope, authorities have said footprints and handprints were found inside the cave complex and that tourists trapped there by past floods have been rescued after the waters receded. Bicycles left by a group of missing boys lean against a railing at the entrance of the cave, Thai news picks, the Associated Press, officials are hopeful there are still safe spaces in the cave complex despite the flooding, Chiang Rai Deputy Gov. Asikorn Bunyalik told the Monday news conference, We are confident that the kids should still be in good condition, he said, in noting that rescuers had seen nothing inside the cave to indicate otherwise. Getting farther into the cave has required lots of oxygen and special diving skills, which would also complicate rescue efforts once the boys are found, Pasicorn said. He said divers might have to first bring in food and the boys might need to wait out the flood or learn the basics of scuba to get out. The cave, cut into a mountainside near the border with Myanmar, can flood severely during the rainy season, which runs from June to October, and there are warnings against exploring then.